Hello everyone and welcome to task number four. In this task, we are going to cover the intuition behind Facebook profit. Please note that um, there's a lot of math behind it. So I'm just going to give you the intuition from a very high level, what it, how it works and how to use it. And then we're going to directly apply it to our project in here. If you guys wanted to read more, please go ahead uh, and check out these links. There's a ton of information in here related to Facebook profit and all the math behind it. So what is Facebook Profit? So Profit is an open source software released by Facebook's core data science team. Profit is a procedure for forecasting time series data based on the additive model where nonlinear trends are fit with yearly, weekly, and daily seasonalities plus holiday effects. Simply put, what Facebook Profit could do is that if you give it historical data about, let's say, sales, for example, okay, maybe three years in the past, with all the seasonalities in there, with all the maybe holidays, with all that information, it can predict the future for you, it can actually tell you what are the expected sales maybe in the next two months we're going to look like. And it's actually very accurate, kind of scary accurate if you think about it. And um, uh, actually Facebook as well mentioned that they internally use that tool to do planning, for example, if they wanted to do, let's say, uh, demand uh, planning in the future, if they wanted to do uh, forecasting of, let's say, uh, the number of customers who will be able to visit, let's say, the site at a specific time in the future, they will be able to use the exact same tool. And you guys can, again, this, think of this project as a framework where you can apply it to, let's say, if you have a store, for example, if you're working as a data scientist at a company, if, you, if you're able to collect kind of similar data to what we have here, you would be able to apply pretty much the exact same code, pretty much the same framework to predict future sales, future customers, and so on. All right, so profit works best if, you, if your time series have a strong seasonal effect and you have a lot of historical data. So the more historical data you have, the better you'll be able to make predictions. And again, please go ahead and check these two links if you wanted to get more information related to Facebook profit time series forecasting tool. All right, so Facebook Profit simply implements what we call it an additive regression model that it consists of four elements. When I say additive regression model, simply put, when we say regression, we wanted to obtain a relationship between an independent variable X and a dependent variable Y. When I say independent, that means I can go there, I can change the independent variable, whatever I want. I can just change, you know, whatever X that I want. And accordingly, I can be able to predict Y based on the changes in X, okay? So when I say additive regression model, that means I will gonna have a series of functions, okay? Series of F, this function here, and I can simply add them up. If I add them up, and that's where the summation comes into play, now I can add a series of these, you know, like different, uh, what we call it smoothing um, fit functions. I can sum them up and that will generate for me the output predictions Y. And that's where the term additive regression model comes into play. So there are four elements when we apply Facebook profit. The first one is a piecewise linear. So profit actually automatically picks up changes, change points in the data and identifies any change in trend. So if you have maybe data that is going up and then, you know, the change, you know, the data is going down afterwards, it can be basically divided into these different chunks based on the changes in the data. And then we have a yearly seasonality component, and that's modeled by four-year series. We have a weekly seasonality component as well. And then we have the holiday list, which can be manually provided. And actually, we're going to do that in this project. We'll be able to actually manually provide a series or a list of holidays manually to the function, to the profit. And, it, and you guys can see, it will actually dr drastically improve the performance of the model when you do that. Okay, all right. So that's simply Facebook profit from a very high level. All right, so let's take a look at the features of Facebook profit. So first, it's accurate and fast. Second, it's automatic. And third, it's domain knowledge integration. Can, you can actually integrate your own domain knowledge to it as well. So let's take a look at the first one. So it's accurate and fast. So actually, again, as I mentioned, Facebook Teams use profit already for accurate forecasting and planning in the future. And as you guys can see here in this application as well, that it's actually very, very accurate. And again, it works like magic. 
and profit can generate results in seconds. So it's not like, you know, it doesn't rely on a complex algorithm. It actually works um, very, very fast and very accurate as well. The second point is that it's automatic. So you don't need to do a lot of data pre-processing. So if you actually have missing data, if you have outliers in your data, you can still use Facebook profit. And profit works with missing data and if you have, again, outliers. All right. And the third point is domain knowledge integration. So users can tweak forecast by manually adding domain specific knowledge. For example, I know that there is, let's say holidays that I can add manually to it. So you'd be able to kind of compile the knowledge of AI and machine learning in the background and the time series forecasting along with your own domain specific knowledge to come up with the best or optimal results. All right, okay, and that's all what I have for task four. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In task five, we are going to train the model. And then in task six, and that will be your own kind of mini challenge, we're gonna train the model in part B by adding holidays associated with it. So please stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next lecture.